So, the workshops have been high on demand. You were so engaged that we didn't want to interrupt you. And we've left a little bit more of extra time. So my remarks are going to be brief. Unfortunately, the director, Pepe Serra, had to leave. He had to leave at 2, so unfortunately, he will not be able to close the session. And I will be in charge of closing the International Symposium. The last presentation. Well, Laia Profound has been recently appointed coordinator of the Arts in Health unit. And the last presentation was entitled Health and Wellbeing are a Strategic Axis in Menac. This has been the case for quite a long time now. And for two days, we have been speaking about the new mission, the, new, the, the enlargement of the social responsibility that museums hold and cultural institutions in general. And we are entering a new cycle. Chris Bailey, he's not here because he's being interviewed by La Vanguardia. That will be published next Saturday. Well, Chris Bailey told us that in his interaction with the MoMA, allowed MoMA to change the mission of the museum. This is quite something, changing MoMA's mission. Not a bad target. So here, from the National Museum, we believe this to be an excellent example. And we believe we shall also redefine our mission. We have been working for quite a long time, and I believe a new stage starts. He trobat un equip espectacular i he vist també com grans dels fonaments de, de treball d'aquest grup humà és extraordinari, sobretot el, el servei educatiu i de programes públics i d'activitats, doncs que encapçala l'Ester Fuertes, però que vull donar-li un reconeixement, però també a la resta de, de companyes. I he trobat una voluntat i unes ganes de treballar i, i, de, i d'assumir aquesta responsabilitat que una mica el Museu Nacional té com a museu capçalera de marcar una mica el camí o de marcar les fites d'ambició a les quals... So, all together we have to... I mean, this has been the case with energy, right? We are now exchanging email addresses to see how to move forward, and I believe Laia will also raise actions, future actions. So, as representative of the museum, I would like to thank you for being part of the movement here in the museum, and also those who have been here for two days without working here in the museum. I would like to thank, I mean, you've been, there's been about 300 of you on working days, so, you know, spending or investing two days to climb up Montjuic is remarkable, and this is not by chance. This doesn't happen for from chance. I would like to thank all the technical services, MAGMA with Nuria, the museum services, Norma and the teams, the colleagues, the simultaneous translation services. They have put together all this in a record time with an extra burden, which was the integration of a Gothic exhibition. So I would like to acknowledge this. Pepe said that it had to be underlined the effort that the organization has displayed. So from now on, you, we are going to reorient things. We're going to incorporate even further health and well-being into our actions. And as a result of that, we would like to share an announcement a premiere. We're going to be sharing breaking news. The museum will build a permanent space devoted to arts and health. 
This is a physical environment here near the Oval Room that will act as the center of all the activities in the field of arts in health. It will be the first workshop in this field. Now, for I don't know if you attended the presentation by Thomas Bastian from Montreal Museum. They have a similar space, and we want to show that placing arts and health at the center of the museum can be done in a figurative way, but also in a physical way. So all this will be related to our community actions, and we need to raise awareness on the need to work with local communities. And this idea stemmed from the inspiration of Museum of Montreal. And it's been said before that some visitors consider museums to be hostile as environments So we need to make sure that this physical environment where we're going to be hosting groups, visitors, participants to the programs, we want to make sure these environments are felt like home by visitors. It's been said by Norma. So we need to make sure the museum is permeable. And uh, this is why we will be launching this space or building this space. It seems like we have the funds available, so we are very happy to be able to build this space all together in a participatory manner. And we need to make sure that this model can be replicated in other museums, in other cultural centers. And without further ado, I would like to Thank you. Once again, I believe that we all have the feeling that this is only the beginning of a long journey together. Let me anticipate also that the Minister of Health yesterday declared himself impressed about our stamina and the support and complicity of health actors. We'll see the light. But at the end of the day, everything will depend on us. We'll have financial challenges. We'll have professional difficulties. We'll have also flexibility issues in the implementation of all these initiatives. But at the end of the day, life is about managing uncertainty and recovering. As Chris said before, renewing things and building a future. So we will all together build a project that will make us feel proud of our task. Without further ado, I will now hand it over to Laia Brofau for the formal closing.